popular in Afghanistan. Whether they can go to the same field. I'm sorry. And the, we don't know what we what would be our future. Whether we will go to the field of our study. I was in the wrong spot at first, and the MTA took so long for me to get to the correct spot that I missed all the speeches and I just snuck in for the photo op. So, um, so today I was in Connecticut again because I missed the train and the next one wasn't coming for 10 minutes. And the one after that, 22 minutes. We need to fund six minute service in the I want to tell you my other gripe, which is that if I had driven here in a private vehicle, the roads would have been free. But if I had taken the bus on those same roads, it would have been 275. The roads are for all of us. And buses should be free. One the service, six minutes, let's get the buses free, and let's fix the MTA. Let's go. Thanks so much, Shibari. Next year, I'm Marcella Matanas. Hey, everyone. I'm a family member Marcella Matanas, and I'm coming from South Broadway. So, I don't have a car. I depend on the buses and the trains to get me around. Like most working class New Yorkers, we depend on the service. I am tired of people in charge on the MTA board making decisions about service cuts and then telling us they need money in order to service us and constantly raising the fare. Yep. And this is these decisions are made by people that don't even take our public transportation. Mm -hmm. We need transparency and we need accountability. And we need to make sure that we're putting people that understand the struggles that we're going through every day on that board to make those decisions. Mm -hmm. So you have already heard it. We need buses that are running on time, six minutes. We shouldn't be waiting. We need to make sure that we're cannot, we cannot afford, New Yorkers cannot afford an increase in transportation when the rent is so damn high, the utilities are high, and they are still struggling. So this is easy. This makes sense. Let's get it done. I'm sure we're Last but not least, we have Assembly Member Zaran Mamdani. How's everybody doing? It is so, so exciting to see all of you here at our first canvas for the Fix the MTA campaign. And what makes me so excited about it is that this is a campaign that is going to be won by mass movement organizers. Yes. You are, let's go, let's hear it for that organizer. Woo! You heard from the elected officials, right? And you know that we will be in Albany organizing on the inside. But the magic can only happen if there is a meeting of the inside and the outside, that pressure is felt on all aspects of the political process. So what we are doing today is we are going to go out and we are going to canvas. And we've got these nifty palm cards which tell people that your train should be here by now. Right? <laughs> that we can free spares, fund frequency, make buses free. We can do all of those things. Look, I am a New Yorker like all of you here. In my more than 20 years of living in this city, the MTA has been thought about like debt and taxes. It's a certainty that the MTA will suck. That is how we feel in this city. There's nothing we can do about it. We spent years where there was a debate over who even controlled the MTA. We know the MTA is a state authority. Yes. We know that authority falls within the jurisdiction of legislators and the governor. Yes. We know we can fix it. Woo! We are going out there today to talk to our neighbors to tell them this can be done, this is what we deserve, and this is how we do it. And it is so exciting because so often when you're canvassing, you have to explain why the issue matters, what the issue is. We're meeting people at the subway platform. They are using the very service. They know why it's important to them. They just don't know how they can take action. We are going to be that point which takes them from use of the service to improving the service and letting them know that everything that they use in their day-to-day -day life can be excellent. 
it can be what we deserve it to be. The difference is organizing, the difference is political will, and that's what you all are going to create. So thank you all so, so much for coming out. Most importantly, thank you for the canvassing we're going to do. It's going to be warm because we're going to be on the platforms inside. And then thank you for joining this campaign and showing everyone in New York City that we can get what we deserve. Thanks so much. Great, so now we're going to do an exhaustive canvas training. I think um, everyone from Zaran to left, or my left, will come with me. Um, in the middle here, we'll go with Zaran, and to the right, we'll go with Emma. So, if you're in the middle, and this humanitarian crisis we now want to have one too. And that is our